Weber a firm. Touch him out. They're both welterweights plus on the night. The black trunks of the tattooed Diego Corrales. Some people wondering whether he might try to make life easier for himself by using his height and reach. Perhaps Corrales is the heavier puncher. Good right hand from Castillo. Left hook again. Here we go again. Not bad, is it? Oh, uppercut. Well, Corrales looking confident, finishing the round by far the stronger. Times on the blind side of the referee, and Corrales did that a couple of times too in the first. There's a bit of edge between these two now, particularly after what's happened in the last day or so. Castillo has to blink, step back, here we see it again. Yep, just stepped off, he was shaken up. I thought a few times in the first fight, even though... I think maybe the side of the glove may have rubbed into the eye. He looked bit uncomfortable, not hurt. Good left hooks again. Corrales, where he was caught. Oh, and then he unleashes a wonderful combination. Well, Corrales looking the more powerful of the two. Walking through. Corrales, maybe the faster hands of the two. How much did that first fight take out of these two? They've had to come back and do it pretty quickly again. I know the body may have recovered. Just get another burst from Corrales just when you think he's oh, leaving. Turn him in the right hand. Back comes Castillo just after he made a breakthrough as fortunes swing yet again. Corrales as well. Corrales is cuffing a little bit more inside. They've not delivered cleanly. That's better. Good work from Chris Castillo here. Against uh, Julio Alvarez. He lost all three of those on cuts, by the way, but he said they were just as wild, but none of the American press were there to see them. Trying to work behind the jab now, Corrales. I don't know if Joe Goosen suggested this. Oh, he's another one. Got him down with the left hand. And Corrales is badly laid out by that one. Six is the count. Seven, he might not get up, you know, eight, nine, he stays out, he's knocked out, Castillo has his revenge. And his head come off the canvas, but nothing else did. You can see, look at that, robbed him of everything. Down he goes, rolls over, I mean, he's just collapsed in a heap, the head comes up. He is the winner by way of knockout, Jose Luis, El Temible.